I subscribed to the trim it at home. So I went ahead and took all the fat out. Oh, I see that. As I like to tell people on my team, if, if you were told you had to run a mile, but could run one quarter of it today and then three quarters tomorrow, would you do it? Of course. So that's why day before I trim it up. That way I can sit here and do nothing. Watch Brad. All right. Fab bean with bacon grease. Fab bean with bacon grease. Where's the bacon at? <laughs> <laughs> All right, already taken the fat out. Here's the point in. I'm leaving on some of the fat just for cooking. Here's the flat. I'm going to keep it together during the cook. Let's get this thing going. There are many injectors out there on the market. These are my favorite. Man, that's like some major injection. There's it, some stuff in there. It's some great stuff. Mm. It's thick. Also got a, there we go. Now it's for it. It's thick because it's been sitting all night in the fridge. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. inject with the grain and inject the living snot out of it because whatever goes off into the pan I then put back in here with the meat to sit for six seven hours okay but you and I were talking about that beef whole thing Cajun injectors, if you go into any grocery store, they've got that little Cajun injector. You can buy a bottle of injector with a little cheapo plastic one. Uh -huh. This is the step up. You gotta buy it, you know, someplace besides the grocery store. Okay. About 10, 12 bucks, but they will last a lifetime. That's why I love them. Looks like the needle's not so long on a bus. Yeah. And that's actually why I take it at an angle. I don't go down so it goes through the other side. And there's many different ways of injecting. Some people push it in like this and wait and pull out. Some people shut up. <laughs> Some people push it in all the way and then slowly pull it out. Well, uh, we're talking about injecting <laughs> brisket, right? Uh, oh yeah. yeah that's what it's After I've done some sort of straight across going thing. I just inject, inject the snot out of it. And I'll use half on one brisket, half on another. 
Also, Brad, I took a uh, clamshell, put it on top of the brisket, and trimmed it already so it'll fit in the clamshell later. It's very small. Just like that. Yeah, there's two basic marinades on the market, <laughs> Fab B and Cosmos. Might be another, I'm not sure. I've tried both. I prefer Fab B. Cosmos has a real good chicken soak. When it comes to the brisket, I just enjoy the earthiness, the, the beefy smell of this. Fab B and Cosmos. And actually, it's Fab B Light. There's Fab B and Fab B Light. A lot of competitors say that Fab B leaves stains on the brisket because it's so strong and that you should use light in competitions. Oh. Fab B, I've never heard of that before. You can get it at the ingredient store online. It's called theingredientstore.com. Also, Fred Bernardo sells it uh, up in Pennsylvania. And they both owe me 10 bucks for that plug. <laughs> Roll out. You see where uh, last week the Carolina Barbecue Company injected inside the plastic for a Boston butt? I, he didn't I, take it out. I've done that. Oh, have you? Yeah. That way, whoa. <laughs> that doesn't happen. <laughs> that doesn't happen. And if there's anything in it, it can marinate in it. How about the trim line, though, and peel it out? I'm sorry, what? I always like the trim line and have to peel them out. Are you Before I do a lot of ejection. Yeah, see how the meat does. I just trim them up, though. Well, I have to laugh. I was reading online on AmazingRibs.com. It's a great place. That's where I've learned a lot of my trade secrets of ribs. But on there, he was showing how someone trimmed their butt, their butt a lot like yours. You remember how last time you go through that and take that skin off? But they also trim the fat away from the money muscle so you can get more bark. Yeah, all the way around. Right, but I didn't get a good picture of that. I'm still trying to find... But you leave it connected. Like yeah, you got to leave it... You got to, according to the rules of KCBS. Because you have to... It has to be in one piece. It has to be at least five pounds. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's the butt rule. Not all the others. Man, that's a substantial amount of injection. That's really going to be good. What I'm going to do with this is once I'm done injecting, I'm going to put it back in its wrap, take all this juice that's flowed out and put it in there, and let it sit till about 10 o'clock tonight. Oh. And then I'll rub it. Just about halfway. Down, it? I'm, I'm amazed some of the people here. Again, with my job, I haven't been able to compete much. I'm just amazed at the superstars who are here. All right, let's flip and do a little more down there, and then we'll put it in. <laughs> so essentially, you left the whole fat cap on the top. Quarter inch. Quarter inch. Quarter okay. inch. And the first time I tried brisket in a restaurant, I didn't think that was a good idea and tore it off. 
But then I now subscribe to the fat is flavor. Oh, okay. Yes. Now subscribe to the what Fat is flavor. On one of these things, tomorrow, take a piece of brisket, take the fat off, take another piece, leave the fat on, take a bite, and you're going to see what I mean. Howdy, howdy. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, Pretty good. good. How you doing? I, just come, I come to eat. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, got, we got sushi. Oh, no, no, no. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll my slide out here about 30 inches. Is that going to bother you on this side? Talk to that man. He's, he's the head man. All right. I think that's good. Got to slide that thing back in the bag. Not the easiest job in the world. Now, is that the bag it came in, or is that something you made? No, this is uh, this is a food saver bag. Oh, food saver bag. I live by my food saver. I live by it. That's what my rub is in. Best and worst investment I ever made. Best because it helps me with barbecue, but my wife likes it just as much. And my bags will disappear. Where do you get your meat from? This is when you need to eat. I'm going to rub it up early. What I did is I took one of the pans and trimmed the brisket like this, even I with the pan. That. Uh -huh. that way tonight, tomorrow when we cut it, it'll automatically fit in the pan. We don't have to worry about anything. Oops. Grab something real quick. So what's the deal on tonight in chicken wings? Is it something?
any idea where this stuff could be? I don't see it. Okay, cool. Now you're injected, then you yeah. just put it in the vacuum pack until till about 9.30. What time is it now? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, Bingham. How you doing? It's only 410. All right, Daryl, when we get through that, I'll put you on Margarita duty. Margaritaville. It's one to shoot it, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, sweet pumpkin. Hey there. How we doing right there? Dude. <laughs> oh. I'm starting to worry about how tough this brisket is. Yeah, it's shooting stuff all over, isn't it? Yeah, it's resisting, in other words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's heavy, man. I it's wanted to heavy. taste it. It's good. I got something you can taste later. I put the slather I put on here, it stole from Chris Lilly. It's like 15 bouillon cubes and two tablespoons of Worcestershire. It oh. is pure beef flavor. Mm -hmm. And if you like beef, great, but man, it's, it's beef overload, but it's great. Large time dot net. Large time dot net. Yeah, I've been talking about them on a radio show. Man, that thing's right hot. It's sizzling, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you God, Vicky's want me to come home. Oh. What in the world? Got the 
competition road coming down through here. Take much more. It's actually gotten substantially bigger since you, I mean, it's got that much juice in it. Alright, let's see what I can do in the point now. As many holes as you put in it, it should have tenderized some, shouldn't it? Yeah, and that's actually why we put it back in the bag. We're going to move it around, knead it, let stuff move. Hopefully tenderize a little bit more. I mean, if we wanted to, we could add to this something, you know, like a meat tenderizer, but it also makes me a little nervous just adding too much. Good flexible, that's for sure. Oh yeah. Not when you first get it, but when you get all that hard fat out of it. Wow. Inject it in it, load it down, ready to roll. 